There's this antique uh, amusement park ride here that's helicopters. It looks like it would be so much fun. Like, we need to figure out how to hotwire it and uh, get it going. But we might get in trouble. But come take a closer look. These are cool. We should probably do a closer for Bach Khan. Yes. <laughs> um, we haven't filmed a whole lot here. Just a few bike rides outside of town and uh, stuff like that. But we really wanted to tell you what it was like settling down in a smallish Vietnam city, town, for 20 days. Um, not doing anything touristy. It's Muffler Boy. <laughs> uh, he's here too. Um, so, yeah, we didn't do anything like crazy, nothing touristy. Just basically existed for the past 20 days in this little town. Yeah, like we got some things. That, like I got my very first ever manicure. Yeah. That was super cool. It was three dollars and some change. Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's go into details a little bit here in a second. We had never heard of Bach Khan. Um we ended up here. Yeah. We just saw it on a map and we were like, we could probably find a bus there and we found a bus there. Yeah, we did. Um we came here straight from uh, Bobby Lake. If you saw that video, that was pretty awesome. I, I saw that there was mo motorcycle rentals here, so I knew we could get around. So we, we hopped a bus here. We didn't even book a hotel, which is, uh, turns out this is like the best way to do it. Don't book a hotel until you get there because you don't know where you're going to get dropped off. Just wobble around with your big old backpack and walk up to a place that says, Nani, these words. Or hotel. And go ask them, Baño, how yeah. much is it? Um, and if it fits your price yeah. range, ask to see the room. Yeah. And then go up, look at the room, make sure the bed's not a rock that you're going to sleep on. Um, that's, which is what we did. And the rest is history. Yeah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, I mean, after Bobby, Bobby Lake was a little bit of a splurge. It was a lot of a splurge for us. We're trying to do this super cheap. So we needed a place to just, like, lay low for a little bit. We're on a three-month visa, our first try here in Vietnam. And this was the place to do it. Yeah, we were trying to um, recoup some overspending that we did uh, at the beginning. Uh, traveling around a lot and, you know, just getting our our feet on the ground here in Vietnam this place was a good place to do that um, we didn't recoup all our money but we did save quite a bit being in a small town we've also learned a lot about ourselves here and how incredibly lucky we are to be able to do this for the amount of time that we're doing this so we're doing a little bit of self-reflecting today, and we, we just settled our bill at our hotel. And it was how much? 4.3 million uh, Vietnamese dong. For 20 days. For 20 days, which is less than $200 for almost an entire month, which is less than two nights in, an, uh, uni, uni, in a normal U.S. hotel. Yeah. And myself ourselves along with most other people in the world especially in america well on, only because i know what it feels like to be in america like there's anxiety around spending money and it's you know we're doing this on a budget we don't have a fixed income like we are completely on our own and um by the little bit that we get from youtube the amazing generosity of our patreons we Xin chào. we make a little bit of money and it's not enough money to live in the u.s we've got to take on extra jobs all that and i was thinking like when we're back home like 
there's this extra anxiety about money because if we decided to splurge and like go to Burger King, it costs like thirty dollars for two meals. That's yeah. not an exaggeration. That's how much it costs. Thirty dollars for two meals, like to put that in Vietnam perspective, uh, we had a four hour, five hour boat ride for just a little bit more than three meals at Burger King. Yeah, and then, you know, if we go grocery shopping, because, you know, that's how you budget. You go to the grocery store. Like, for the two of us, eating rice and beans and hardly anything else, um, I mean, you guys saw how we eat. If you've been watching our channel, we don't eat fancy. We eat cheap. Yeah. And uh, that's dropping $100, $150 sometimes a week at the grocery store that, that's a that's like a ultra budgeting week too and where is that money going to it's going to usually walmart because that's what we can find so where these companies all our money is going to burger king maybe the shell station walmart i here in vietnam yes we're spending a lot less so that helps with money anxiety but our money is going to the ban me lady on the sidewalk selling sandwiches and while she's you know peeling her cucumbers every day uh fresh cucumbers that she might have grown in her garden to or bought from another lady to put in our sandwich our money is going to her like her just her and that what was it two hundred dollars mm -hmm. but that two hundred dollars that we is, is a huge amount of money but what that bought us here in Vietnam, we handed it to one little aunt, Vietnamese auntie and her husband. And what did that get us? 20 nights, three days of scooter rentals. Um, showers. Showers, <laughs> soft bed, clean towels, clean sheets, um, power. <laughs> uh, I, if you guys, if you guys have known us for a long time. We we um, we've lived in our van and our Rav Four for the past two years. Uh, we've been in a couple of hotels while we took jobs, but for the most part, we're living on the road. And I mean, showers are luxuries. <laughs> Power is a luxury. High speed internet. Uh, yes, high speed internet is a luxury. And if for some reason the high speed internet went away at this hotel, which it didn't, we would have our five dollar a month self service plan. Yeah, Who, cell phone plans five dollars a month. Raise your hand in the comments if you uh, pay five dollars a month for your cell phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not rubbing it in. But yeah. It's it's affordable here and your money goes to people. It's so cool. Yeah. It makes you feel good about spending money. And like our money especially there's there's a high importance to how we spend our money because a portion of our money is donated to us every month. So we can't just go willy-nilly giving our money to Burger King or Walmart like here our Patreon members like you are seeing where we're spending our money like like I'm sure you're going to put over this video of us talking a uh, video of our meals that we've had and how much they've cost and um, you know it's it's cool it's a really cool feeling Bakan this town that we've been to uh, we've pretty much walked 95% of every square inch of this town and there is nothing but friendly people here uh, it is a great place to just exist I mean you're surrounded by beautiful mountains Got mountains in the background here. There's like mountains and hills there. Um, it's just surrounded by these beautiful mountains and um, all these 
very friendly, beautiful people that just stop what they're doing to say hi to you. Um, yeah. You know, they, they, they want to help you out and, and in the most friendly way. Coming from Sapa, and like, like before we came here, we went to Sapa and then we went to Bobby Lake. And both of those places, Sapa and Bobby Lake, were definitely touristy towns. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, it's a different kind of politeness in a tourist town versus like a, a good, hearty hello from somebody that's not expecting stuff from you. That's not trying to keep you here. Yeah, it's... Well, I just want to add, sorry, it's like the difference between, nice to meet you, and wow, it is so nice to meet you, but like, not speaking your language. Yeah. Like, the people here are surprised to see us, there's no foreigners in this town that we, we can recognize. There, yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, Westerners, there is none. Uh, we, we have, we have scoured this entire place. And we have found none. <laughs> and there's... We've met one English-speaking person here. Um, and uh, that's it. Yeah. Like, And he gave us rocks. And he gave us <laughs> rocks, yes. Um, which was kind of nice. Yeah. Um, but this town is just... It's very nice. Coming from a tourist town also, things are way more affordable here. Like, um, I got my head shaved and my beard trimmed in, uh, in Hanoi. And in Hanoi, that was 200,000 uh, Vietnamese dong, which is around eight bucks for a head shave and a beard trim. Now, from American standards, that's pretty cheap. But in Bakan, I went up to this other guy and uh, he had his own shop. Uh, he was the only one working there and he had steady customers. And uh, I asked him for a head shave and a beard trim. He did a, a very thorough job on my beard. I haven't brushed it, so that's why it looks a little scraggly right now. And this was a few days back. But uh, that was... 10,000 Vietnamese dong for a head shave and a beard trim here. Which I'm sure was like shocking. I wasn't there. Like that must have been just so shocking. Like they probably thought you heard him wrong. I did. I said, <laughs> I said, uh, Moi Nin? And he's like, Moi Nin? And I, I'm like, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I gave him 20, which still feels dirt cheap. <laughs> Um, I mean, twenty thousand is st doubling, doubling his his price was still less than a dollar. Like how? Yeah. And meanwhile, <laughs> Liz was getting her nails done. Yeah. Which, for the first time ever, we, we went to this beauty or you went to this beauty school. Yeah. To a, a lady that didn't. <laughs> um, you can tell I don't get this done ever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a fire. That's what a fire truck looks like in Vietnam. They always just drive with their lights on, even if they're not going anywhere. Yeah, and some of the police vehicles do that, too. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> so Liz got her, her nails done, and how much was that? It was $3 and some change. Around 80000 yeah. So. And she did multiple coats, uh... She, the, she had her hand in the curing thing for a while uh, between coats and everything so yeah pretty thorough and then you got your hair dyed and cut yeah which we actually filmed mm -hmm. um, and that blew my mind <laughs> because it was the full like cut and color and she like gave me this full on scalp massage and like irrigated my ears and stuck her fingers in my ears um, which is weird but Hey, <laughs> it was included in the price. Yeah. <laughs> I also did something I've never done before, too, because, like, only rich, bougie people do this, right? I think. 
Um, I got custom clothes done. I had two beautiful shirts done, uh, made by hand. This lady did like an amazing job on these shirts, and it was so cheap. Uh, we have some footage of it here, um, but that was super cool. So Liz is thinking about getting a shirt made, and uh, we've talked to a seamstress, and it's 120 per shirt, and now we're looking at the fabric, and the fabric's going to probably be about 500000 for both shirts, so about $20 for the fabric, and $5 each for the shirts, so... What is that? 30 bucks for two custom made shirts? Thinking about going with some basic plans, but. Yeah, I'm thinking about going with basic plans. So, a lot of choices. And it's super hot in here and muggy. It's 70 degrees out, but the humidity is like pretty killer today. Makes it very hard to make a decision when I'm like dripping sweat. Yeah. It was actually, I think it worked out to be around $16 a shirt. Mm -hmm. For um, a custom made by hand shirt. Yeah, which is how much you would pay for a cheap shirt in a regular store. So I feel really good about that. And the money for the fabric went to the fabric lady who owns her own shop. And the, um, the money for having the shirt made went to the seamstress who has her own shop and her own equipment. And I tried to tip the seamstress, and she uh, was very adamant about not taking a tip. She's like, we don't do that here. Yeah. We don't do that. Uh, and then she gave me my tip back and then handed me a sack of bread <laughs> as a thank you. Which, I, okay. I mean, that was pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, you just feel good about how your money is spent here yeah and it being so affordable on top of that really helps but um yeah it's a cool country it's very cool I'm glad country we came here. me too on that note well that was fun that was so much fun thank you guys for coming along on this journey i hope you're enjoying your trip to vietnam as much as we are mm -hmm. and uh thank you for liking and subscribing to our channel and for considering joining Patreon and to our current Patreon members, we would not be here without you and your money is being so well spent here. Um, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Bye now. In Vietnam, you get tea with your tea. I got ginger tea. And the best part is it comes with like real flakes of ginger. And then it's like a vanilla tea that this particular place gave. And I got a mint tea, which is a little just just a little cozy tea. You can get a whole bag of this for thirty two thousand dong at a store. But it's not hot. <laughs> oh, and they give you a little packet of sugar with your tea. That says delicious, delicious. That's what that says. Same, same. Vietnam. Yeah, we didn't do too many exciting things, which is why we didn't film much of Bach Nin. But we feel like we should explain Bachman to Wait. you guys. Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. Reverse. Reverse. We didn't film much. So talking about Bachman. <laughs> no. Stop. Reverse. <laughs> what town are we in? Oh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.